Hello, today I'm talking about Logan Lucky. From the start of his film career with the award-winning Sex, Lies and Videotapes, Steven Soderbergh seems to have worked on a one-for-me, one-for-them formula. There would be small, edgy, personal films like Full Frontal in 2002 or Bubble in 2005. And then there'd be the larger scale thrillers and action movies like Out of Sight and Ocean's Eleven and its sequels. A film like Erin Brockovich in 2000 would fall somewhere between these two schools. And of course Soderbergh was frequently active in the theatre and television as well. His big screen comeback, Logan Lucky, finds him taking the relatively easy option of the light-hearted heist movie, something he's always done well. While not on the same level as last month's Edgar Wright action-adventure Baby Driver, Logan Lucky is nevertheless plenty of fun thanks to its tricky, clever plotting, there's a script by Rebecca Blunt, and some interesting casting, most notably Daniel Craig, a very long way from his James Bond persona, as a crew-cut ice-blonde thug serving time in prison. The jokey credits read, and introducing Daniel Craig as Joe Bang, and the name of the character he plays is, of course, significant. Joe Bang is a well-known explosives expert, which makes him essential to the crew planning to rob the NASCAR motor race to take place on Memorial Day. The film is set in Boone County, West Virginia, and also across the border in North Carolina. Viewers beware of those thick southern accents. They're pretty difficult to comprehend at times, but dialogue isn't really what this film is all about. The robbery is planned by the Logan brothers, Jimmy, Channing Tatum, and Clyde, Adam Driver. Jimmy has recently lost his job and is separated from his wife and daughter, while Clyde, a veteran of the war in Iraq, has a prosthetic arm, which doesn't impact on his job as bartender at the duct tape watering hole. Now, as you very well know, Speedway's got a big problem on his hands right now. Forty-year-old pipe bursting since the whole thing's built on landfills turned into mush, which causing all these sinkholes. Sink That's right, the sinkholes in the infield. Now, they wanted to fix this thing up right, so what'd they do? what they do? They called a bunch of us who just worked down their mines, because we know the work. Well, you do good work. We do good work. But you were just fired. I was let go for liability reasons involving insurance. Can you just get to the part of why you think you can do this? This is the kind of film in which it's necessary to pay careful attention to the details of planning the robbery, because we can be pretty sure that some apparently minor elements of the scheme will assume great importance later on. Logan Lucky bubbles along with some very dry jokes, both oral and visual, and it's frequently smart and perfectly entertaining piece of cinematic fluff, which will doubtless be very successful. Steven Soderbergh is capable of more substantial material than this, though, and hopefully his next foray into big screen cinema will reflect the more serious side of this always interesting director. Three and a half stars. Three and a half stars.